Hey folks, I'm here with Chance Bowbeff. Chance, can you give us some insight on holding steady? You know, how you set your bow up, what it takes to get the bow to sit rock solid. Well, it actually takes me a, a little while in the beginning of the year, every year, to get my bow to sit steady. I, uh, the biggest thing is draw length for me, personally. I, I have to tweak on my draw length quite a bit to get, to get it to where it feels right on the back end right. and, and everything's in line the way I want it to be. Uh, stabilizers, of course, play a huge part. You know, the way you've got them weighted, uh, how right. much weight you've got on them, the mass weight of the bow, uh, your let off plays into it as well. You know, whether it be right. a 70%, 80%, 65%, whichever. You've got to figure out for you what, you're, what holding weight you're comfortable with and uh, you try and get that consistent on every bow because okay. it'll improve the way you hold tremendously. Now, do you have a high holding weight? You know, a lot, do you hold like 22 pounds, 23 pounds? Do you try to set it up to where you're in you know, that I, area? I, uh, with whether it be my 3D bow, my field bow, my indoor bow, whatever it, whatever it is, I try and get it to where it sits around 17 pounds. Okay. I, that's where I'm comfortable. That's where everything feels right for me in the back end, and, and I'm able to, you know, make the best shot that I can. Okay, good deal. Um, is there any tips you can give people, you know, to help them kind of up their game? You know, everybody likes to strive to get to the level you guys are at. But, you know, it takes a lot. It's a lot of time, a lot of effort. And do you have any small tips that can, you know, kind of elevate people? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, try and play around with stabilizers. Don't be afraid to tinker with them to uh, see if you can improve the way you hold. Uh, if there's a pro around you, ask him. You know, they, they should be more than willing to help you. Uh, I know I'm always more than willing to help somebody else. So, you know, if, you, if you've got a question, don't be afraid to ask it. If, you know, if you, if you feel like you need to tinker with something, tinker with it. I mean, right. if, worst case scenario, you go right back to where you were. Right. Well, good deal, sir. I appreciate your time. No problem. Thank you.